I didn't see you there. Just kidding. Come on here. Come closer. Maybe I'll come closer to you. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a new series I'm starting out. One thing I want to do uh, with this next series is uh, instead of collecting just games, which I will still be doing, I'm still going to be buying video games. You can't stop me. Um, but I want to be collecting stores. What I want to do is go to 100 video game stores, give you a slight insights about why you should be visiting these stores or, or why not. I'm hoping you're going to enjoy it and uh, I'm hoping you're along for the ride. So uh, let's get ready to flip and dip. Hey, today we're going to several video game stores. The goal is to go to 100 video game stores total. Uh, so far, we're gonna start with just a couple here in New York, greatest city in the world. So uh, let's get started. I'm more of a cold caffeine person, so I'm gonna grab myself a Diet Coke. Is it too early in the morning to drink a Diet Coke? Probably. I'm gonna grab one anyways because I enjoy the flavor. There's a new little coffee shop with the name Black by Demand. That's funny, so I'm gonna pick up a sweet treat from there. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. Delicious. Getting off the train and going into Grand Central can always be a bit of a hassle, but what a cinematic uh, entrance into the city it can be. The longer you spend living in New York, the less time you'll spend staring up at the buildings, but it shouldn't be lost on you that it is a beautiful architectural city. This is made by a street artist named Toy and B. Once you notice these, you see them all over the city. Now, the first video game store we're going to is near Midtown. It just happens to be near Grand Central. You could argue whether or not this is actually a video game store, but they do sell video games. It's called Book Off, and it's originally a Japanese store. Hands down, this is one of my favorite places to browse. They've got a little bit of everything. They've got collectibles. I've always just felt like this is a store for collectors. The major thing to note is everything here is used, so you can buy and sell. But yeah, let's check it out. The reason we're here is to look at the video game selection. Now, the reason why most game collectors know about Book Off is because in Japan, Book Off has so many video games for very, very good prices. Here in New York, you've got to factor in things like the cost of rent. You will find deals here. These NES classics for 100 bucks, not a bad prices. But you will also see things mispriced. Like this PlayStation classic, it's probably quadrupled the price that you could get it on eBay. Now, I'm not the type of person that just gawks at a high price just because it's crazy high. This is $947 for a copy of Shrek. But because it's sealed and it has this watch, there's somebody out there that wants this. Not for nothing, retro prices are a little out of control sometimes. I should have got this game when it was 40 bucks. Now for me, Book Off has always been a very convenient location. Back when I worked in Times Square, I'd always just walk over here during my lunch break because I've always felt that when you have a store that gets a lot of new inventory all the time, you've got to keep checking back if you want to find any deals. This place in particular was very helpful for me when I was collecting Wii U games. I'd get really cheap ones all the time, especially when they had way too many of them. While I don't find as many deals for American games here, Book Off still has a huge selection of Japanese games. And even if these prices aren't the top tier best prices you'll find for a Japanese game, it's still nice to be able to have a large concentration of them so you can browse, find something you're looking for, and uh, at very least, you know, have something to talk about in a, you know, in a YouTube video. By the way, I love how Super Famicom games are about the exact same size as a VHS. Now, in addition to video games, Book Off actually has a lot of other stuff. One of those things that I really like looking at uh, is their music and vinyl collection, which you can find downstairs now. If you're into anime CDs, you can find a whole bunch. And if you're into vinyl records, you can uh, find quite a few here as well. Is it the best vinyl store in New York? Probably not. I really enjoy the design of all their Japanese releases of American music. I'm also the type of person that listens to pretty much every genre of music, but I've got a soft spot for hip hop and they've got quite a selection here too. Overall, Book Off is a neat little store, worth visiting. I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. A hop, skip, and a jump away near Rockefeller Plaza is Nintendo NYC. Now I'm going to show you some things here, but I'm not going to show you everything. Part of going to Nintendo NYC is actually just going in and experiencing it yourself. You can always pick up general merchandise or exclusive NYC things, which is always very neat. The real reason you go here is just to see some of the exclusive stuff that they have here that they don't have anywhere else. Most of the things they have out are on rotation, so even if you see something here in this video, it's likely that when you go and visit, you'll see something that is only up for that season. I've always liked this little model because this is a model they use to model
model all other Marios off of. It's pretty cool. They've also got this really cool display case that has an example of every single Nintendo console ever made. They also do have a bunch of Switch games here, which is really neat, but they're either the newest or the greatest hits, and they're always for full retail, which isn't bad, but the reason you'd purchase these are so that you can say, hey, yeah, I bought this game at Nintendo NY. This is also a store I go to a lot whenever there's a launch of a console or I forgot to pre-order something. It's worth going here if you're a huge Nintendo fan or you're a first time in New York, you'll probably mostly be going for the Nintendo merch that's exclusive to the store. Now there's plenty of other things to do, and since I walked from 30 Rock all the way up to the last store on the list, I'll uh, just go over some of those. Here's a Lego store, this one's the one at Flatiron. It's not the best Lego store in New York, probably the best one was actually closer to the Nintendo NY store, but if you're a huge fan of Lego, it's a really cool thing to go to all these stores. They have a whole bunch of different sculptures that you might only find here in New York, and uh, it's worth seeing if you're a Lego fan. Now, if you're not looking to carry a whole bunch of Lego sets while you're here, there's another place you can go. This place is much closer to Union Square, and it's a great place to go if you like comic books or figurines or anything along those lines. If you're looking to curl up with a good book, The Strand is a great place to go. This place has a ridiculous selection of books, and it's not the only Strand store in Manhattan. You can get coffee here, you can get books here, you can get notebooks here. Really anything that's on paper, and some things that aren't, are available at The Strand. Now this next store might be my favorite video game store in New York. Video Games New York, properly named for SEO. Now right off the bat, it should be mentioned that this place is a little claustrophobic. In New York City, where rent is at a premium, they make great use of every single square inch to pack it filled with video games. They've actually got several pieces here that are museum quality pieces that you would only see here. And while prices may vary, they still have tons of deals if you just look a little bit. One of the most impressive things about this store is even though they're small, their inventory is great. You'll find things here that you just don't see anywhere else. Part of the main reason I like to go here is because they have a huge selection of Switch games and it's a great place to go whenever I forget to pre-order something. They also have a ton of limited run games and import titles, and they don't charge the price for shipping, so it ends up being actually cheaper than buying it online. If you're in New York looking to buy video games, I definitely recommend going here. It's probably one of the best video game stores in New York and I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now speaking of other places to go in this general area, this is a toy store named Toy Tokyo. It has a bunch of designer toys, including the Shmiski right here. It also has a whole bunch of nostalgic toys, like this E.T. right here. Personally, I didn't know what Doraemon was when I was a kid. I used to watch it all the time. It wasn't until I was an adult that I realized he was a robotic cat. Well anyways, if you like Japanese toys of pretty much every era, this is a great place to go. You can check out a lot of different things, and you might pick up something. By the way, if you're in the general area and you're looking for a barcade, Here's one right here. Well, that's enough New York for today. Time to go home. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed filming it. Uh, that was just the first video I'm gonna make in a series of videos. Hopefully I get to go more places with more people, see some more game stores, uh, buy some more games, do some other stuff. Who knows, who knows? I travel a lot, so uh, yeah, I'll go here, there, anywhere. Uh, if you like that, uh, give me a sub or a, you know, a like or a comment. The big one, if you have any video game stores you think I should be visiting, let me know uh, down in the comments. So that way I can just uh, go to those stores or put them on my master list of stores I've gone to. Uh, you may have seen a couple of these stores in TikToks or Reels or Shorts that I've made in the past, but my, my goal here is to do something a little bit bigger and just keep showcasing these stores. You know, at the end of the day, uh, the backbone of the retro community is uh, these stores, it's these people, it's conventions, it's all, it's a, it's a number of things. You know, it's the video games, it's playing the video games, you know, just this, that, and everything else. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, let me know. Peace.